Hi guys, welcome back. This is lesson number 30 from our Coral Draw training course series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to create transparent sea mask with the text and image. You can see that here we have scenery and uh, there is a text frame effect we apply in our shape. In this example, we combine the text with this frame effect and then we reduce the transparency. At the most right side, you can see that this is the normal effect we apply. We clip the same image inside the text. We apply outline to the text and then same image. We have another copy here. We reduce the transparency. The difference between these two effects is if I will move this text now from this location, you will see that the image inside will be displaced. Look at this. If I will bring this text here, now look at this, this mountain area here and the back image, it is there and here it is displaced. So it is giving fake impression. It doesn't look realistic. In this example, we need to keep text in one place. We cannot change the location of the text once it is clipped. So undo. So the text will remain here. Okay. But in this type of effect, this text, wherever I will move, since our text is trimmed inside, so you can see through the image at the back, wherever we will move, it is okay. So let's create both effect. We can start with this. First of all, we need to type text. I will go to the text tool. Simply type anything you want. All right. Go to the pick tool, click on pick tool and change the font. I am going to apply this impact. It's a bold font. This is what we need. Okay. So for now, I will leave the size of the text small because once you will apply effect frame effect and then you will trace bitmap if the object is big coral draw sometime crash the file to avoid that thing we can create small object and as much possible we can reduce the text size also and once the text will be trimmed with the frame then we can increase the size so let's see how it's done here we have text and now i'm going to create rectangular shape little bit bigger than this text okay simply fill some color let's say we have a gray and remove outline so it's a simple rectangular box so the first thing we need to do we need to convert this to bitmap because this is a shape okay and we cannot apply frame effect directly to the shape so for this thing we will go to the bitmap and click on convert to bitmap if you are going to print this effect, you need to keep CMYK, okay? But if you are going to prepare just for desktop presentation or for web banner, you can choose RGB. But for now, I will leave CMYK as it is and then click OK. Now our rectangular box, it is converted into bitmap. It is not anymore Coral Draw default vector shape. Since it is a bitmap, we can apply frame effect, go to the bitmap point to creative and here we have frame you can see that and this is the effect that exactly we need if you want you can click on modify and you can change the setting here it will affect the frame but for now i will leave as it is and click ok now the effect is applied but this text we cannot trim with this object because this is a bitmap since this text is vector we need to convert this into vector so while it is selected, simply click on trace bitmap and quick trace. Here, if the object is big now, it will give problem. So that is the reason we created only small object comparing to our page size and click on quick trace. Look at this bitmap has been traced. And now here we have shape. This one we can delete. And this object we can trim with our text. So bring the text here, object, order, to front of the page now our text is in the front if we want a little bit we can reduce the size to make it sure that it is exactly inside our shape now we need to select both of them and simply click on trim once you will click on the trim the text is trimmed with the shape now move this text from here and you can see that here we can see through our document so if I will bring it here, look at this, we can see from the letters, we can see the scene in the back. So this is how we created this nice effect. 
leave this text here because we are going to use for the other image and uh, I'm going to copy this image you know already how to import image so I will just copy here and we will expand this to our background this way simply look at this we got the same effect the next thing if I want I can apply color okay this is the color we apply and the last thing is to apply the transparency so while it is selected we'll go to the transparency tool that is located under drop shadow here click on transparency and choose the second option from here uniform transparency so look at this and while it is applied you can even change the color if you want bright color okay any color you can choose and even if you want you can choose some color from the image by using eyedropper we have eyedropper here click on eyedropper and choose any color you want from the image and fill it so look at this so any color we can fill let's apply some light color click on this blue color and by pressing control key I will keep clicking on white so it's become a little bit bright and another thing once it is created still you have control to increase and reduce the transparency once you will click on transparency tool by default it is 50 percent if I want to reduce here look at this our effect is more clear now let's create the other effect that we have here I am going to copy once again the same image by pressing plus key and I will leave it here we have text here this is simple we need to increase the text size this way we need to copy duplicate this image select this image press plus key and in the same place you can see that we have two now undo and the front copy we are going to clip inside our text so while it is selected we'll go to the object power clip place inside frame and click on the text so now it goes inside the text so we cannot see anything since the background and the clipped image is same we will just reduce the transparency of the background so select the background go to transparency tool and apply uniform transparency so you can see that this is how beautiful and nice effect we got in our picture here but once again the same thing you cannot move the text from this location since it is clipped here okay if I will click on the text here you see that here we have extract content or we have here edit power clip but I will recommend you if you are going to change the location it's a good idea to extract the content okay move the text and again power clip because if you will edit the content sometime it will not be aligned exactly so that's all guys this how we apply this nice effect on the background by clipping image inside the text creating frame and trim with the text I hope you enjoy this lesson try to practice guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once I will upload new video thank you